Hi Parish Panthers. Um, this is part one in our videos uh, needed to make um, the stencil for our palette signs. So the first thing you're going to do with this project is you're going to go collecting the different images you want to put on your sign. Um, and that's that's images, not text. Text you can enter directly um, in the in the software we're going to use to make the stencil. But this is simply any images that you're searching for. And I've got a little um, Google search pulled up um, to to help to give you a visual. Um, it is important with this project that we go hunting for vector images, not JPEGs or GIFs and really not PNGs. We want a vector file, and I've got uh, just a simple Google search with the written difference between the two, is we want um, a JPEG is a raster graphic. So those are nice if we're engraving something in with, uh, say, using the laser cutter. With, um, though sometimes we need objects, sometimes we need vector files with that as well. But with what we're going to be doing, we want, and it's easiest if we have vector files for this stencil. Vector files are composed of a series of paths, uh, whereas those raster images, those JPEGs, are made up of millions and millions and millions of little pixels that all come together to create the different images. So we want to go looking for vector uh, images. And it, we really don't care about the color because we're cr we're cutting out um, space to make a stencil, so don't get too caught up in the in the uh, colors you see. So the the palette sign example I made for you guys said text is raised. So when I went hunting for uh, the the Texas, I simply went to Google and I typed in Texas and I typed in vector and I pressed enter. I'm not interested in like a full web search. I'm actually looking for images. So I click on images and I have all of these different images come up. Now, keep in mind, I, I'm not printing color. I'm creating a stencil because I'm going to, any color is going to come from stuff that I paint. It's also super helpful with what we're going to be doing if your image does not have a background. So this particular text is up here, uh, has a white background on it. These others that are a little bit grayed out, not so much. Um, this one especially not. This one with the checkerboards is usually a really great indication that there is not a background on it. And for the my my Texas, um, I painted Texas and um, had and and the Texas was white, and the um, text was in the same color stain as um, my wood showing through. So I don't really need a, a, a color, um, a colored Texas. I just need the outline of the state of Texas. Um, if I wanted a, a, a Texas that was kind of all broken up in the in the form of the flag, if I wanted to say paint um, the red, white, and blue, I could choose this one. It doesn't have a background. It's a vector. That would be great. Um, and and I could put Texas raised elsewhere on it. But for the design I'm going for, which is simply to, to paint in the entire state in white and have Texas raised on top of it um, show through in the stain of the wood, this, this image it would be really great here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on it, open it, make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to, um, on the bigger image here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to save. I don't want to save the link. I need the actual image. So I'm going to save the image as um, and I just need it to be something that I can remember. Um, please put your images, uh, ultimately collect them all in your Google folder for the class. Um, it may be easiest to start to put them on your desktop. I'm about to put this one um, on my desktop. So I'm just going to call it Texas Outline Vector so I don't get it confused with any other files I have on my computer. Um, I might even put Palette uh, so I know what it goes with. And um, don't worry about this right here saying JPEG. Okay, we're not going to get too worried about that. Um, and we're going to um, press save. And and that's, um, if, if I had multiple images that I was going to be uh, assimilating to make my sign, I would continue searching for images. But my sign is simply the state of Texas with some text. And again, the text I'm going to do in... Um, 
in the software where I designed my stencil. So I'm, I'm all set. I'm good to go. And I'll talk to you in the video, the, the next video where we actually start um, compiling our images, um, building our stencil in Adobe Illustrator. Bye for now.